Oh, welcome back, everybody. It's time to talk pet peeves and take them to a whole nother level. As summer rolls in, I'm answering your questions about summertime etiquette, the do's and don'ts of this season. Maggie Oldham is an etiquette coach. She has the lowdown. We're going to start with flip flops because I wear them every single day to the office. Of course, I mean, I put on heels, but then I walk around in flip flops. You right. say that's a that's a no no. So while sandals may be appropriate <laughs> office attire, yeah. flip-flops are not. Okay. So what's the difference between sandals and flip-flops? It's the noise they make. It's the flip-flop, flip-flop. Yeah. That can be really distracting and annoying. annoying. Yeah, so to commute to the office in them is fine, but change them once you get there. Hey, Ray, Jim, Britt, is it annoying? I flip flopping yeah. all the time. It's Jeez. really annoying. I was telling you, I wore so my kids' oh. choir concert the other night, and one of them snapped. So then I was carrying one of them around. You say, don't wear See, them. See, there yet. you go. Err on the side of caution. All right. Don't wear flip flops. This one is for Jim and for Ray because they're mm -hmm. very sloppy eaters. Okay, so we're talking about barbecue. Yes. What do you say when it, when it comes to etiquette and how we're eating? We do some things not right. Sure. So a couple etiquette don'ts <laughs> for the summer. This is for you we guys. Don't want to lick barbecue sauce off of our fingers. Ooh. We also don't want to put our napkin in our collar. Instead, we want to put our napkins in our laps and then lean over the table so we don't spill any ketchup or mustard. Summertime is also a great time to model these types of behaviors for your children. Yeah. They're out of school. Good time to teach them manners. Okay, that's good. Do you teach those classes too for people? I do. Oh. I teach. I teach children and adult. <laughs> Yeah, it's not just for the kids. Okay, here's one for me that, okay. that bothers me. If someone has a towel at the beach, whatever, and all of a sudden they start shaking, yes. or if they're spraying suntan lotion. So, or not a, lotion, but the spray. So what do you say? So, a very important etiquette tip is to watch where you spray and shake. <laughs> Nobody likes a wind gust of bug spray in their face. Same yeah. goes for the suntan sunscreen. sunscreen lotion that you're spraying. So, make sure you take a look around. Same with the towel before you stand up and shake that towel. Make sure it's not going to fly in anybody else's area. Okay, that's good to know. You, I mean, you, you try to sometimes, maybe you're not. You know, especially if I go to a water park or something, I think that happens actually mm -hmm. a lot. Now, is Britt Baker over there? Yeah. This one's for you, girl. I'm just actually teasing. But music outdoors, you say what? I mean, a lot of us, I mean, we just right. want to play our music. All right, so Crank it up. summer's here. We have concerts on the prairie, concerts mm -hmm. on the canal. We like to get there early, set up our picnic, and play some music, right? Well, even if you're playing music on your cell phone, it can mm -hmm. drift into other people's areas. And it's not your privilege to play oh. DJ. We have to understand <laughs> that not everybody shares our same taste in music. Okay. So keep the headphones in or just don't play the music at all. Yeah, I play my music kind of loud. So mm -hmm. Britt's not the one doing it. She's the one that has to listen to it. Okay, now, wedding season is here. We're talking about what to wear. Sometimes people say it's okay to maybe wear a little ivory or wear like a little cute sundress. You say do not wear certain colors. Correct. So we are now entering wedding season, mm -hmm. and you know the old adage we can only wear white between Memorial Day and Labor Day. So, hey, why not bring out that ivory colored dress that's been hanging in our closet? It's ivory, right? Not white. No, you don't want to wear any variation of white to a wedding. You want to reserve that for the bride. Same goes with loud, bright colors like a bright red or a bright pink. You want to keep them muted and soft and nice and reserve the spotlight for the bride. No beige. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That doesn't look good anyway, right? Okay, so no white, no ivory. Watch where you spray. Watch where you shake. I don't know, I don't know if I can, if it's, a, if it's a problem for you guys, I'm going to stop wearing my flip flops. Ray, Jim, if it's too loud. Nice to see you. Love the Thank advice. Thank you so much. Maggie again. Um, where do you live? Where are you from? I reside in New York City. Okay. So I'm so, a New York based modern right, etiquette so coach. So she knows. Okay. It's almost.